So in this part, let's uh, start moving these new points or vertices around and give a shape, a proper shape to the nose. So what I'm going to do is start with uh, these three vertices here. And I'm going to make sure I'm not constraining into the edges. And then move them in X and Y direction, something like this. Okay. And then grab these three vertices. Move them around like that. This guy can maybe go back there a little. And this guy can also go back there a little. Uh, this is probably too far. I'm bring it a little close. I'm doing is basically moving things around and trying to get a proper shape for the nose. All right. So with that, I'm just going to leave it at that point and let's start adding, extruding this guy inside. So I'm going to jump to my polygon mode, select this big polygon here and bring up the extrude settings dialog by hitting this icon and I'm gonna right click on the spinner to get rid of the default value and then extrude it inwards a little bit like like that uh, 0.3 that should do it and hit apply and it repeats that extrusion but this time I'm going to take it all the way in like that and then say OK. So once we have it, I'm going to grab the scale and scale it down and then move it aside like that. OK, so let's go ahead and turn on our NERM stop and then see how we are doing so far. bad starting to get a shape here um, so all you need to do at this point is start moving things around and give it the desired shape you need and if you if you want you can work on the model like that with the nerve toggle on and still seeing the cage you know sometimes it makes it a little easier uh, to manipulate so Yeah, that's pretty much it. At this point, all you need to do is start moving it around and match it to any reference image you have, and uh, your nose is almost complete. So, <coughs> um, I don't think I have anything else to add. Uh, it's up to you how much time you're going to spend on your character and get the looks you were looking for. But there are actually some new tools which I would quickly want to mention in 3D Max 2010. And I'm finding the new graphite modeling tools very useful as I'm exploring them. I haven't looked into all of them, but some of them which are there are very, very useful. Um, the one I quickly want to mention is if you go to the edge mode, you select an edge like that you can go to loops and there is something called insert loop and if I click on that it 
kind of follows the edge ring direction and adds a loop for you as you can see and one of very neat feature um, what I did is I actually gave it a hard key I on my keyboard so I can quickly go select an edge and hit I on the keyboard start adding more edge loops so you can kind of uh, skip the uh, what do you call the step about adding selecting an edge and clicking on the edge ring and then hitting connect um, by having this new tool uh, pretty neat I thought I uh, should just quickly show you um, if you don't know how to set up hotkeys you need to check out the part one of the head modeling video I discussed uh, setting up the hotkeys in there so but do check out this uh, insert edge loop if you got access to max 2010 and it's gonna definitely make your life a lot easier so that's it for now um, appreciate all the comments feedbacks and thanks for watching I'll probably see you some other time